Unification wars behind them, fusion power and interstellar travel in their hands, they turn their attention to a distant star. They named it Hellion. Work began on the expedition project, a massive undertaking with a singular purpose, to give humanity a new home beneath an alien sky. The journey would take almost a century. It's all over. The expedition has fallen apart. Hellion is a war zone. The damn plan was a mistake. It was insane right from the start. But we can't turn back now. I just pray that someone can survive this. What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we are in a brand new game called Hellion. It just came out on Steam Early Access. Uh, it's a space survival game. Multiplayer. In the lines of, uh, say, like Elite Dangerous meets Rust. Meets a multitude of other different uh, video games that you can build your own space station, add to your own ship, scavenge the land, but you have to watch out for other players in the universe. Because they can steal your stuff, and you can, you know, gain alliances, and then you can backstab and steal more things. You can build space stations, you can build uh, a bunch of different things, but it's very, very difficult from what I understand. Alright, so we have spawned in our cryo chamber. So we gotta unspawn. Despawn. Oh, oh. Oh. What's going on here? Little little laggy and framey going in here. But other than that, it's not half bad. So, our spawn, this is ours. Authorized to interact. Whenever we die, we will respawn on our little lifeboat here floating anon through the galaxy via solar power now if you and your buddy want to play on the same world together you have a second cryo chamber where you can hop on to here we can hit F to interact you uh, it's locked right now but if you want to add players you can just click this add your friend and y'all can go and travel through space together we have all kinds of different interactive things to try and get after <clears throat> what are you small med packs oh nice well, that's nice. Environmental controls, bar, pressure, air quality, temperature, gravity, gravity, hoot, 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 good stuff. Cargo interaction panel, go ahead, we'll hit F to interact. Oxygen, nitrogen, good, good, all good things. Now, we need to refine raw materials in order to replenish these. So you have to go mining. How do you get to, to a place, to, uh, you gotta go find an asteroid. Then you have to figure out how to uh, get the minerals out. It's going to be quite difficult. <laughs> and I will be looking for anyone to help me out. That's for sure. Because I'm really interested in uh, continuing to, to do uh, this game. Oh, I'm crouching. I'm crouching. I have to interact. Cargo attach point for canister or jetpack. Oh, okay. Speaking of jetpacks. Recharge station for rifle, battery, or jetpack. Nice. Everything's very dark. I have little storage bins. I have to interact. It's not letting me do it. There we go. <laughs> so CO2 filters. Nice, nice, nice. Speaking of CO2 filters. Let's see here. So now this, I believe this is another... Hello. No, I don't want to go outside. <laughs> I don't have a suit on. I forgot my suit at home. Alt Corp or canister, nice. We're kind of just scoping around. Now, ammo supply. This is where we would hold our rifles. This is my rifle. This is my gun. And grab ourselves a cryo suit. Hold R to equip. Done. There we go. Uh, I'll take one of you. Yeah, jetpack, huh? Nice. I shall equip you as well. And Alt Court helmet. 
I'll just hold R to equip. Boom. Now, as far as the menu, I have not figured out what that is. Okay, so we're actually using oxygen right now. RC at Jetpack, RCS Online. Okay, uh-huh. Menu. Help. There we go. It's the X button. Couldn't figure it out. I was like, what the heck? All right, F1. So, in our character movement, uh, for crouching, obviously crouch, jump, shift. We get it. But in zero gravity, strafe down, strafe up, stabilize, grab wall. Hold to zoom in, aim down sight, mouse free look, rotate left, activate RCS, toggle the helmet visor. Nice. Okay. I also noticed this. Uh, oh, ho, 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 ho. We're in zero G now. And we're floating. Oh. Help. There we go. Uh-huh. Okay. G again. There we go. <laughs> All right. So it's a little dark in here. Um, we have everything in here now. Everything that you have in here isn't exactly the best shape. So you will have to do your best to repair the items to get everything back into where you need to be. Make everything all pristine. Now, when you are inside of your cryo chamber, oh, 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 air processor. Hold tab, air processor. You have to hold it in your hand because our jetpacks only have, uh, they have zero slots. So my inventory right now is whatever I can hold. So right now I can hold this canister. The canister. And we can do whatever we want with it. But then we have to place it down here. Let's just place it down here. Can I drop you? I would like to drop you. Right. Oh, zooming in. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Just toss it. There we go. So, let's turn on the... Let's see what the life support is here. F to interact. Oxygen consumption. We're doing plenty of that. Oxygen tank. That's not good. It's not good. Now, you can, uh, as far as modules, there are modules that are floating around in space. If you find modules, you can uh, then attach them, but you have to manually attach them to your ship and bring them back and att manually attach them to your uh, space station here. And you can continue to bi keep building up with those modules as long as your life support and your power can work with it. Now, do we have no exposure? Let's power it up. Suboptimal. Let's grab ourselves a little bit of power. Stores can power capacity. Uh, this uh, our little lifeboat here is only run by sun uh, by solar panels at the moment. So when you see here, no fusion reactor available capacitor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we have to kind of wait efficiency forty one percent because we're not exactly in the light of the sun that we are orbiting. Now, if you angle your your you can actually angle your space station if you have a certain angle of the sun. As well, you, you can uh, get the optimal power for your ship. As you can see, the lights came on. Yay! Now, let's turn on the capacitor here. So that way we can store up some energy. Because we're not using a whole lot at the moment. But it's good. Got ourselves a fan. Life support mod node. We can go ahead and hop into there. Oh. And everything takes time, pressure regulators. Everything is going to need to be repaired and worked on at some point. Go ahead and I'll put that back up there, Tiger. Air generators. Just all kinds of fun stuff. I'm noticing also that the learning curve is going to be pretty, uh, pretty had. 
but I'm ready for the challenge. Yeah. All right. So we have our regular canisters here. If we wanted to recharge our jetpacks, I don't think we need to recharge our jetpacks though. Okay. So this is our dock. This is our dock. Dock B. Dock B. But this is not an airlock. Oh yeah, this is the dock. Hold on a second. Get me out of this, Jane. Get me out of this crazy thing, man. Good God. All right, let me out. Thank you. That was weird. Let me just see here, because we have two areas right here. One's a hallway and one's a dock. What do you do? Okay. So they're both docks. Alright, so... What we need to do... Is if we ever need... This isn't actually an airlock, so there's no way for us to decompressure... Uh, de-pressurize uh, everything here. So what we'd have to do... Is let's put our shield on. I mean, let's get terrified. Pull to undock. It'll give you a warning... Where if you uh, don't have a, something that's pressurized, you can do that. Let's turn our RCS on here, um, which is our jetpack. Activate RTS. Okay. So now it's a little bit easier to stabilize. Now since you're in a deep vacuum, you don't have to worry about uh, continually using the forward key to go forward. If you just press a little bit, the momentum of that thrust will throw you through because you're in zero gravity, you're in a vacuum. You don't have to worry about constantly adding thrust because there's nothing to resist you. All right, manual override. Oh God! Oh, and there is. Oh my goodness. Good Lord. Oh my god. Alright, so. Now we're floating closer to our space station. And this is our lifeboat. Oh, wow. Now, because you're in a vacuum and it sucks you right out and it's not an airlock, it's going to do that every single time. So, um, as far as trying to uh, check everything out, there is a radar. We gotta kind of maneuver ourselves here. Why am I going up? <laughs> Why am I going up? Strafe up, strafe down. Control. 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 So it's good to probably have some oxygen first before you go ahead and uh, try to get the docking. Now there is a docking station. Now you do have to worry about the. Uh, uh, like the dark, oh, like the, the darkness of space. See, now I'm kind of spinning around, and there could be something that's sitting right in front of me, but I do not know. Let's kind of rotate ourselves. We gotta stabilize ourselves, otherwise, we'll go into a free, a free fall. Oh, 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 oh. Kind of a free fall there. Alright. Okay. Now one of these is our airlock and one of these is our ship. Let's go and check this out. Now there are also some things on the outside of your uh, space station that you'll have to repair too. So you'll have to mine and do all kinds of different things from asteroids. Grab all the resources you can and then... Uh, bring it back so that you can repair you have to refine those minerals and then once you refine those minerals then you can uh, turn it into oxygen nitrogen all the gins all the O2s and N2s and N1s H1 N1s that we can find here is our ship Got 
got to like stabilize ourselves. It's going to be a like I said, it's going to be a hard learning curve if you're going to be into this game. It's kind of like a little bit of Rust and Kerbal Space Day, like Kerbal Kerbal Space Program. How do I get into you? I want to get in you. It's like it's like problem that all over again. Uh, let's go ahead and see if I can get into our spaceship because we're kind of in a little bit of a spinny mood. Good lord. Oh, the sun. Why am I going into this like spinorama? <laughs> it's just like deep breaths, folks. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Gotta go forward. Go towards. Go towards the ship. Towards the ship, sir. Go ahead. You can do it. Can we stop? Stop ourselves here. Okay. Hold. No, don't zoom. See, like, there's little modules that are outside here. This is definitely going to be something that you have to try and learn. Now, we're getting a little low on oxygen here. So, let's see if we can get in here. Now, see, these have airlocks. So... What we can do here is come here, tiger. I have to interact. I have to interact. Thank you. All right. So, depressurize. Please depressurize. Thank you. <laughs> it's like hello, hello. All right. So once it's depressurized, we'll be able to open the outer door. It's very realistic. They're very they're going towards a we're gonna science the crap out of this kind of deal, you know? So they're gonna um, they're talking about physics. Like if you don't enter into orbit correctly, you're not gonna meet you know, match up with what uh, you're trying to get to. So say if there's like a space station that you'd like to uh, visit or a planet that you wanna go check out, if you don't enter the orbit in the correct angle, you're gonna die. Good lord. Okay. Okay. Oh, we got a little panel here. Panel, panel. All right, so let's head. Control, control, control. There we go. Let's head over to this panel again. F to interact. Let's close the outer door. Repressurize. So that way we can save our air. Because if you just jettison yourself out, all the air that's in that gets jettisoned out as well. And you don't replenish that back. And then you got to try and rebuild that back. Which is not good. Not good at all. All of a sudden the music's kicking in. Music's getting real. Okay. <laughs> All right. Inner door open. Thank you. And we don't, we have our oxygen back. So, oh, we're going to, this is a ladder. We're going to hit gravity here in a second. Dar <laughs> Whoops. Ladders. Ladders are for suckers. Okay, so door control, press to open. There we go. Close that up just in case. So down here we have our uh, power supply. Yep, so this, this is where we get to play Scotty. Deuterium tank. Sun coverage, optimal. So we do have solar panels on here to help power it, but we also have a fusion reactor, so that's good, especially for deep space travel. You can make space stations in deep space, but you do have to... 
Um, oh, that's an airlock. I don't need another airlock. I'm all, I'm all, I'm all airlocked up at the moment. Ah, ha 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 ha. But you need to have a power supply in order for you to um, be able to control it. Because if you're close to the sun, you'll actually see the temperature in here get warm. If you move away from whatever star you're into, you'll see things start freezing up, and then you gotta dethaw them. And it's all kinds of, all kinds of such and such, all kinds of stuff, man. Let's go ahead. Got a, we got a Gat Alt Court rifle. What's up? Who? Nice. That's super duper nice, guys. No down scope sights, huh? Whatever. Sounds like a Skrillex song. Wow. Okay, so with our inventory here, we just go ahead and we'll place that off of ourselves there. Nice, nice. I always press escape, I don't know why. Got our air filters, everything. Server motors. Dang, son. Life support, mod control. What do our CO2 looking okay? Looking okay. Now there is an airlock that's floating outside that huh? It's floating outside, floating outside, floating outside. These are all of our controls. And here is our ship. Here is our bridge. There's the sun. There's our uh, lifeboat. And there's a, an airlock out there that we have to manually kind of put onto the docking to the, uh, the ship here. Not the ship, but the uh, lifeboat. So that, that way we can dock the station to it. So that will be in another episode. If you enjoy this particular one, let me just go see what's down here. There's another area down here. We'll just hop on down. Here's our warp cells. Our warp cells we need to refill. Singularity cell detonator. This will open everything up. I like the animations of everything. So if for our warp drive, we will need, or our warp cell, we'll need to recharge it up. Buttercup. But we also have a docking bay somewhere. We'll look at check this out. See, there's the airlock that's down there. So we have to hop onto that, hit manual override, and then fly that using our jetpacks to attach it to the space station in order for us to be able to dock our ship onto the space station from here on out. So when we when we travel, probably to the distant star or distant uh, place. We can dock our station. Now there's going to be different suits, like the one I have is just the regular jetpack. But, if you decide that you want to play on a multiplayer server, how can I get up here? Can I get up here? What's going on here? Hello, Bueller. Uh-huh. Aha! F to interact. Gotcha. Um, but if you are on a, a multiplayer server, and you have a couple of your buddies, and you want to hang out, then uh, you can more than you're more than welcome to. Where is the uh, the uh, there's a docking bay, Timmy Field generator, like all kinds of stuff that does need to get fixed. Um, there's a combat suit. There's going to be a miner suit. There's going to be different kinds of suits that you can get yourself into, so that, that way you have inventory slots, um, combat ready inventory slots that hold uh, areas for side pistols and things like that. But uh, if you just have a normal jetpack like I have, there's really no inventory. You kind of hold everything on your persons. On your coin persons. Uh, I thought there was something that would lead us to the airlock. Is there an elevator? I think there's an elevator. Hold on here. Let's go check it out quick. Let's go check it out. Air filter. All right. You look important. Let's go check it out. I have to interact. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> okay. Is there oxygen in here? Alright, good. We're not dying. We're not suffocating. Diesel, you'll get sucked down and freeze to death. Actually, uh, in space, you will uh, suffocate first before you ever feel the effects of that frozen thing. Of your frozenness. All right, so we got drills. Nice. So we got Alcorp ore canisters. I suppose that's what you hold everything in. 
Uh, cargo interaction panel. Attach a uh, cargo attach point for caster or jetpack. Okay, so what if I uh, if I grab a jetpack here? Yeah? Oh, so that's gonna charge up. Nice. If we have power, though. Only if we have power. Okay, so this is our refiner. Oh, all right. I don't even know if we have power going to our uh, to our stuff. Alright, let's go ahead and put that on. Where are you? Nothing? Okay. And there's different storage compartments and everything for warp drives. Uh, let's see here. Different uh, CO2 filters. Nice. Now, they're talking about uh, revamping this just a little bit. Got a server motor. So we do have some extra parts. So I think we can actually, uh, as far as crafting goes, I have no idea how to craft. Say if I, like these can't just be the only ones we have. You know, we can store stuff. So how do we store stuff? How do I build a storage bin? EMP controller. Controller. Hello, controller. Very nice. What are you? Recharge station for rifle battery or jetpack. Oh, okay. Recharge station. Cool. Cargo attach point for canister or jetpack. So is this something where... Okay, so I just want to see, because we have a very limited amount of oxygen in our HUD, in our helmet, or in our jetpack. Let's see, look at that oxygen. I always, get, I always press F for some reason. Okay, so do that. Is that going to recharge everything up in the jetpack there? We find our interface, cargo. So that's just going to do that for us. Okay. So, 36%. Fuel power. Okay. So if I put that there and we walk around for a little bit. See what that's got for our, for our, for our stuff there, man. Okay, so oh no. If you pick up something, you will. <laughs> you pick up one thing. Resource injector. What do I? What did I pick up? <laughs> yeah, just put that there. It's gonna be one of those things. Like I said, the learning curve is gonna be real here, folks. No, no, no. No, what are you doing? There you go. See? See, I just gotta go ahead and we just gotta keep on trying. Because you never know what you're doing until you do it, you know? Go ahead and put that in there. Put that back. Put it back where you found it. You don't know what that does. I don't know what that does, so you don't know what that does, okay? So my mom always used to tell me I would just touch stuff. Let's grab this. Hold R to hold that on. I don't think we have any power going to this stuff, and that's fine. Let's go ahead, F to interact. Now, that is a back, uh, that entire back thing in there is a hatch. So you can actually store modules and things like that in here if it fits. Maybe in a little mini something or other. I'm not really sure. <clears throat> but you can definitely, this entire thing is an airlock. So you can go ahead and depressurize everything, pop you, you know. Go ahead and soak yourself out. Everything it would be all good. How do I go back up now? I want to go back up. I want to go back up. Door control. All right. Bump bump. Bump bump. So the only way that you can actually uh, be okay from other attackers, I'm not sure exactly if this. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be setting up some sort of server so I can do some stuff. Without having to worry about too many people being mean, you know? Taking all my stuff. Not too many people, though. It'll be fine. Okay, so, gotta kinda of maneuver. Now, this is a little more difficult. Is that a stapler? I believe I, I, believe I have a stapler. Okay. So. Alright, RTS. Let's spin you around here.
There we go. Alrighty, so. Gotta try and conserve our air for as much as we can. Depressurize. We gotta head back to the space station. Head back to our space station and we get into our cryo chamber, that's when we're safe. We don't have to worry about people killing us. I'm not sure about uh, people just hopping in, but the thing is, it's just like, it's kind of like a little rust mechanic that they have going on there. Alright. Out the door. Okay. There we go. Stabilize, stabilize. So there is our station. Stabilize. Now, if you continue to go on the, uh, if you just hold on the uh, power, like you will shoot to the here really quick, and then you'll have to back it up. But this is terrifying to me. <laughs> This is so scary. All right, all right. So there's there's a door. There's a door. Oh, the sunlight is real. The sun, she is real. Okay, stop the roll. Stop the roll. Stop the roll. Stop the roll. Can't stop the roll. Stop. Okay, okay, okay. Stop, stop spinning. It's gonna be very disorienting time here in Hellion, that is for sure. Where is the door? Oh god. Oxygen low, I know, I'm aware. I have to interact. No, that's right, the air compression. <laughs> no. Oh. Since you're trying to go in there, it, it blows you right back out again. Not cool, bro. Not cool. Our oxygen's low. Can we make it back? Can we make it back? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. 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 Please don't. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh. Okay. Here we go. Calmly. Subtly. Let's get it together, Diesel. Let's get it together. You can do this. Going for it. Okay. Oxygen low. I'm aware. Manual override. Close this joint. No. Come on, son. Yes. Good lord. I don't want to open this just yet. What are you doing? Why are you still... What are you... No, don't close it. Close the door. Jeez, come on. Okay, okay we got to figure this out now. Pull to unlock. No, dummy. Yeah, we're dying. <laughs> we are dying. 
What happens if I do that? Woo! That was a bad idea. Oh. Oh. That was close. We are barely alive. <laughs> that is a terrible idea. I guess we're gaining everything back. Oh. That was close though, son. We almost died. We j we may just die. Recharge station for rifle battery or jetpack. Right. <sighs> we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Guess we gotta go into our cryo chamber. Folks, this has been Hellion. It's a very difficult game, and it seems like it's uh it's gonna be unrelenting. For sure. So Everyone, have a great day, afternoon, evening, good night. If you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button. Helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos coming out every single day, every single week. Folks, have a great day, afternoon, evening, good night. Peace out like shout, y'all. And I will check you out right here again in Hellion next time.